Hi again, welcome to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this Honda generator. It's got the Honda GX120 engine on it, and I'm not sure about the generator side of things. I'm not sure what size that is, but we'll see what it will run up if we can get it all working. Um, the story of this is I bought it off Facebook Marketplace back in the winter. And actually I did a video of it back then, but I thought I'd lost all the footage of that, but I've managed to find it. So I think there were some useful bits in it that will help people. So I've managed to um, sort of find the bits and I'll just um, complete the video now. So when I was working on this before, I never really got around to starting out properly. So yeah, we'll be doing a little test at the end of this video and that'll be now, not back then, which was about six months ago. So I'm gonna show you now what I did back then and then I'll be back with you at the end when we go for a startup. So firstly, I'm just going to take the air filter off. I've had a good tidy up lately, so I've got lots of empty pots now to put the bits and pieces in. Um, the cover's off. There's another wing nut there. The air filter looks quite clean, actually. Uh, I'll probably just blow it out at the moment. It'll probably be okay. Uh, I probably won't service this if it goes. I probably will leave it at the moment, service it at a later date because I will be keeping this if it's all good. Actually, that filter isn't brilliant. Look, it's all broken up. So I'll blow that sponge out. So I've got the impact. I'm just going to take them two nuts off. One nut there. It's just a pipe there, like a uh, breather pipe. So. Yeah, just work that off and then that all comes off like so. Uh, it looks like it's been used on a building site. It's a um, manky, uh, very dusty and that. So um, what I'm going to do now is just um, slide the carb off, but I'd want to put something under because I want to um, drain the fuel out. Yeah, the fuel pipe is there. So I'll just see if that splits off the engine a bit. I don't want to break the gasket. And if I can, if it can be helped, and the gasket has got a little bit caught there, so this might have broke it already. Um, actually, I'll take that bit off first. That's like a metal plate with rubberized bits each side that acts as a gasket, so that can come off and be cleaned. And there was that little choke bit that fits on, like so. There, so that can pull off as well. Uh, I probably have got a, a gasket, but if I haven't, I can make one, but and save the old one, it will be good. Just to ease it. Yep, I think I've saved that, um, which is good. Uh, yeah, there's the fuel pipe. I'm gonna have to pull that off now. Sorry if my hands are in the way, but. It's a bit tight and then I'm going to want to get that. I'm going to probably go on my bench a little bit, but if I do shake you around a bit, I do apologise. Still isn't quite off. Then if I pinch that, then I'll pull the carb off. Yeah, I've got you in a bit better position. Now that should pull off there. And there's a the fuel that can all drain in there because I'll keep that to clean things with, but I'm not going to put it back in there. While that's draining out, I can get that little spring off there. And then pull that out like so, that rod. So that means the whole carb router and come off now and there we have it so as soon as that has all drained i'm going to put the carb in there try and clean off some of that old dust and gunk and oil and yeah all the nastiness and let that soak in there and then i'll blow it off and that should clean all that so i'll just let that fuel drain uh there wasn't that much in there there's actually more than i thought i hope it's not going to fill up that tub Actually, I might as well now, actually, while it's doing that, I might as well drop this in there now. Actually, I want it upside down, really. And then just let that soak in there. 
I'll give it a brief sort of clean round there. I'm not particularly worried about getting it too good, but I'll give it a bit of a brush off and clean round there just to sort of make it a bit smarter. So now after the carb was soaking for a little while in the petrol, I've used a bit of carb cleaner as well, and I've got it pretty good on the outside actually. They're always the worst to work on um, machines when they've been used by builders and they've got cement on and brick dust and all that. But this isn't too bad now. And actually I've cleaned up the around the area where the carburetor fits onto the generator, well, to the engine as well. And that's come up okay. So now I'm just gonna take it apart. And we'll have a look at what it looks like inside. It's a little bolt that holds the, you know, yeah, you can see it's a bit, Mucky and ever, not, not too bad. So I'll um, give that a clean out. So now I'll get the flow out. The pin's very loose in this, so I can just pull that out. Over there, then we've got the float. Like that. So just put that to the side as well. And now I'm gonna get the main jet out. Then the tube above it, get that out. And I should probably take off that, just to check if there's any gunk in there. Um, the rubber ring has stayed in okay. Doesn't look like it wants to fall out, so I'm happy to use carbs around this. I just won't overdo it around that area, but I'm, it's in there pretty well. I'm not going to pull it out because it might not seat so well afterwards, and I haven't got a new one. Uh, we've got that piece there to take out as well. So um, I might as well do that bit now, actually. So screw this in, that there. So when there, half, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five, half, six, about six. So when it gets screwed in, when I put it back on, six turns out. We get that out to the side. And then I'm just gonna lift that bit out usually they come out fairly easy yep it's coming out so yeah that out now yeah there's a little um hole in there when i squirt in the carb cleaner it should come out of them to, well through that middle hole each side so yep i'll get that done soon uh we do have one little adjustment screw there so we'll do the same with that screw that in Half, one, half, two, that's two. Usually these ones are about one and a half out, so I'll probably go roughly around there. You can always adjust it afterwards anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it's a bit, you can see all the, even after cleaning them out, how much gunk has got in there. And it is because it's been used by builders in mud and cement, dust, brick. You know what it's like. So, uh, but this carb clean inside. Okay, so what else we've got to do? We've got to take that main jet out. I've got, I've got a screwdriver I purposely use for that. It isn't a special one, but it tends to do a good job. And it's that one, it's only a Stanley, but it tends to grip it nicely. So let's hope it undoes quite easy. Has done, I thought it slipped. So we'll unscrew that. I thought I had slipped in. I hadn't actually. It must have just been the effect it didn't feel right when I undid, but it's alright. So got that out. The tube should come out, but sometimes you have to just go through there, just help it a little bit. Nearly. It doesn't quite want to, I'll tell you what I sometimes have to do. Just um, get a pick and just push it out with that. They do get a bit stuck sometimes. Yep, it's come now. I hope you saw that. Uh, yeah, just get a pick or something and just sort of Try to just nudge it out. So the carb is all um, stripped down now to where I need it to be. Apart from that, actually, I did say I was going to take that off, didn't I? Now, I think that's a, is that a 10 mil? Yeah, I ain't going to get the impact on that in case it causes issues. 
I might have to get a socket on it though. You know what? Let's be brave. Yeah, worked better, didn't it? Sometimes it's good to good to be brave. See, it's worth turning that off. See that little bit of muck in there? So it's worth turning off. Pretty clean in there, and there is a rubber ring in there as well. If that comes out easier, I should take it out. But if not, just leave it in there and just give that little carb spray in there. I think it's my socket stuck on at the moment, but I can leave it on top of this bit back on. So I'm going to carb spray it all down for all the holes and then give it a good blow off and then clean up all these little bits i'm just going to check let's see if that's blocked i think that's blocked yeah i can see it's blocked i'm sure it's blocked so that would be our problem why this wasn't starting i had pulled over a few times and they said they had to so yep that's definitely the issue let's have a look through this one Uh, I can see through some of them. So um, what I'm going to do is give them a clean. And then just nudge through. And you can see that a bit of muck on the end. But I think you could have knocked it off now. But you should be able to see through that now. Yeah, there you go. See, that's what's sort of stopping the fuel getting through. So it's never going to start. Um, so yeah, we'll give these all a bit of a good clean. Well, I'll give them a good clean up and then we can start getting this back together. So yeah, we'll just show you this and I'll run through it um, quite quick. I'll put the fast speed on so you can see it being done. I'll be back with you after that. So it's all clean now, everything's clean. You saw me in quick time um, cleaning everything up and blowing it through. Uh, I'll get this bit back on first. The actual ring did pop out when I blew that out, but put it back in place. Um, I'll just get this and tighten that back down. I'm going to use the impact pin back together. But it was well worth taking off as you saw because there was a bit of dirt in there. A rusty stuff actually um so the ring has popped out a bit i just want it back in place because i don't want it expanding because i did use a carb cleaner in there um so what i'll do now is get these two jet bits in the tube for a start you see it's clear i have checked it all that is it's all clear now so the smaller end goes in first it's a wider end bigger end smaller end goes in first so we drop that in and we've got that nice and clear now. So I'll get my screwdriver and get that one back in. I 
Uh, one thing before I forget, when you're using carbs around blowing it out, put safety glasses on and gloves really. I've run out of gloves, which is a bit irritating at the moment because I don't like getting on my hand. I've tried to do as best as I can without getting on my hand, but I have a little bit. Um, and now I usually, when I just screw that in, I just blast the carb spray through, just in case when I'm putting it in, something actually um, comes off and goes in the hole. So, then so that'll be fine there. Um, the float, uh, that just pushes, oh, just missed it. There's a spring on the needle valve under there, see? So it just goes there and locks in place. So that can be dropped back in now so and the little pin can go through hold that in its position just being a bit of a pain come on go in there there we go Looks like that so that's in um goes like that i'm gonna put that on like that just going that way just check one more time that that ring is in place and make sure it fits in between them bits there as well because I have had them before where they don't quite get in the slot where it goes um, but that's fine I think the fiber washer was okay as I'm keeping the machine now I'm not worried about changing it at the moment anyway because I'm sure it'll be fine if I sell it I might have put another one on Gone and slipped around, which is annoying. That again, I think it was. I think it's okay now. I do. Yeah, the bowl was, as you saw, a bit rusty, but I cleaned up and it cleaned up okay. So that will do. Only a couple more bits to go now. We've got that bit there. I blew out the middle and you probably saw, hope you saw, the um, carbs tray come out the side. So that just slots back in there, like that. I'm throwing bits about now. Um, that bit goes in there. And that was, I think I remember, it was a six out. I'm sure it was. So I screw that all the way in. Half, one, half, Two, half, three, half, four, half, five, half, six. We've got that done. And finally, we've got this other one that goes in here. I'm going to screw that in and come out uh, about one and a half, one and three quarters, something like that. It was just about two, but I might go a bit less because usually on others like this, I've, it's usually one and a half I found. Half, one, half and just a little bit that do for that so that carb should be good to go now and um, it's quite clean now you know like i said being on a builder's machine it's a little bit there and that but so hard to get the old um concrete and um sand and that off but yeah it's a lot better and inside most important bit it's it's very clean so it should be good to go so i'm going to get it back on the machine now so what i'm going to do now is quickly take the tank off because it's it's a little bit um, dirty in there. So I'm hoping that this bolt's gonna be the one, but then again, it looks like it could be that one. So I'm not actually quite sure. Well, I'm, I think it is that one, which is more difficult to get to. Might have to use the spanner on there. And then there's just two, there's just two the other side. Um, I'll do that off camera. It's obvious where they are to get the tank off and then I can give the tank a bit of a clean out, uh, some rusty bits in there. And um, yeah, we can get it back on then. And then everything, all the fuel system should be spot on. So if it's got spark, which I imagine it has, everything should be good. So I'll be back with you when I've done the tank. Just before I go, I will just show you quickly where the other two tank nuts are. One there and one there. So I'll get them off, get the tank off, give it a quick blow out and a quick, quick clean out, shake around. And then that should be good. Now the tank's back on. Um, so I'm gonna get this car back on now make sure I get it on the right way, which I was wrong. Um, so we can put that, the gasket is still in place there. We can get that on there like so. But as we're doing it, we need to get that rod in. So I'm just getting on a little bit further. That rod should go into place. We have that there. And then we have that spring that goes into 
there and we'll just get the little grips to do that yep so that's all good so i can push that in place now and then get the the fuel line on which uh, while i'm wiggling on i might shake you a little bit but try to do the best i can yep that's back in place we have that gasket thing i mentioned earlier well, gasket thing it's like like i said it's rubberized on a metal sort of plate metal spacer if you like so we'll get that in place there um and then we've got this choke lever thing that goes on like that and choke goes on and off on and off um i've cleaned up um the air filter housing the best i sort of need to really it's all clean where it needs to be clean so um that will do and they've got to actually be round the other way i think yep and there's that breather pipe behind that's obvious where that goes so i've done that there's a bolt that goes in there behind there you can see that okay and then there's the two nuts that go in oh well go on there so i'll get these nuts done up here first and then i'll do the bolt on top now i've got the air filter um i took the pre-filter off because the sponge as you saw earlier was no good i will replace that with a new filter at some stage but at the moment i'm not fussed about that so like i said where well, i'm going to be using it it's not gonna have that much dust so i think i ordered some of these for my bigger um one of the bigger honda engines i've got i think it was the one on the pressure washer and they were cheap i ordered them from china and they were quite cheap um, so i'll probably do that and order a couple because i have got another engine to work on like this at some point so we have that all back together so now the car's clean it's all back together um, i'm going to put some fuel in it and give it a start so i tried the car out on the generator and i did get it to start in the end i had a fuel leak quite a bad fuel leak while i was trying to start it it didn't start for very long and then when fuel was leaking i didn't want to leave it running for too too long so i bought that kit for it it's a new seal kit for the carb so we'll get that done and then we can give it a proper start up really then i didn't even have a chance to test the uh electric side of things so um yeah it only run for a few seconds because it was absolutely chucking out fuel and i'm not sure where it was i think it was out the back of there it's where i think it was and i think it's down so that o-ring inside wasn't very good i think i remember when i was doing it it was it was a little bit um a bit hard and flat so let's just take this off and then we'll have a look yeah there it it isn't brilliant so what i'm going to do now that's all dry i can get rid of that bit there and then we can get this new seals in there's a few of them so we'll work through them and get them done i'll pick that old seal out i'm sure it's leaking around that bit and actually well, which side would it have been now yeah, it would have been that side it didn't look brilliant there so oh, i don't know let's let's just try the new seal and let's see it's better i did have lots of other carbs i could have stole one from but i was thinking i'm gonna probably keep this generator so i might as well put a new seal kit in and this should be good for a while go and screw that well for a start i'm not sure whether that seal was great so we'll get that seal out of there and then there's that So you've got them two screws there and just put that down there then that like um, washer and then we've got the switch the fuel switch shut off and then we have that underneath and there is a new one i think you probably just saw that where are we there so i'm going to hook that one out but let's get that out of the way 
I'm just going to get give that a blow out there, and then we'll get all that back on with that new with that new piece in. So that should all be good, and then we can get that part back together. And there's actually an O-ring as well. We can get it back together now. So in that part, we put the O-ring in there, the new O-ring. Make sure it's right, right in place at the bottom of there, like this, like so. Then I'm gonna tighten up that bit. We'll tighten up that fully up in a minute because I just want to get the top part on. Just rest that on there a second. There's that new bit there. I don't think there's a special way for that to fit in. No, it's just there's two little. I'll show you that. Two little like round tabs that'll locate into them like so. Yep. So they're in place. Then we have the fuel switch. So that goes in there. Then that like bent type washer on top. Then we have this top part. I don't remember what way that goes around. I'm sure it's like, like that. And you have the two bolts to go in and keep everything in place and make sure that washer's in place. I think that's okay. So I'll try and get one in. tight and that is tight so that should be good to go just check the switch work feels nice and tight which I want it to and then we'll tighten that up there That's tight should be okay so that part should be done so we shouldn't have much to do now really we've got this new ring to go in so there's a new fiber washer on there so i'm just gonna do it that way i think like so just screw that up that's cleaned all before i didn't need to do anything else in the carb that should be good Yeah, see, it fits all nicely into there. So, yeah, even though it's slightly different in look, I think it will be okay. I'm hoping so, because I, yeah, that, I wonder, it's had a quite a big dink in there, and I wonder when it did that, it sort of bent somewhere else as well. Probably be okay, but... Anyway, since I had that other one, I thought I'd, I'd give that a go. So I can now put the carburetor back on the generator. You've seen me do that already, so I don't need to show you again. So I'll um, yeah do that off camera, and then we'll see if it's all good and see if it um, starts and doesn't leak. So at least I know I've got the new seals in there now, um, the three I put in it. So yeah, hopefully everything should be all good. So now we have the generator outside, so I'm going to go for start up. I'm not sure fuel is on, choke is on and on button which is there
So, result, it runs, runs okay, and it produces power on the angle grinder. So yeah, happy with that. It's not bad, I'll hang on to that because you know, it's a handy little tool to have in the shed when I need it, and it was cheap, it was really cheap. So um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. It just basically was a carb clean, but yeah, I did have that bit of problem with the leaky bowl, but I sorted all that in the end, and yeah, it's a good tool. So I'm gonna leave the video there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.